When MH370 went missing on the 8th of March 2014, the Malaysian government couldn't explain what happened. Five years went by and still no firm conclusion. The team is unable to determine the real cost for the disappearance of the MH370. Privately, though, it was a very different matter. Australia's Prime Minister at the time, Tony Abbott, has revealed exactly what the Malaysians believed within a week of the plane's disappearance. My understanding, my very clear understanding from the very top levels of the Malaysian government is that uh, from very, very early on here, uh, they thought it was uh, murder-suicide by the pilot. They said that to you? I'm not going to say uh, who said what to whom, but let me reiterate, I want to be absolutely crystal clear. Uh, it was understood uh, at the highest levels that this was almost certainly murder-suicide by the pilot, uh, mass murder-suicide by the pilot. What's interesting about this admission is that after this conversation had taken place, the Malaysians kept exploring other possibilities, such as a catastrophic fire on board and a possible terror attack. And they certainly never blamed the pilot, Zahari Shah, at least not publicly. If that's true, then that would have to point to some kind of cover-up. Look, um, that's not my assumption at all. Um, uh, and I've read all these stories that the Malaysians allegedly uh, didn't want uh, the murder-suicide theory pursued because they were embarrassed about uh, one of their pilots uh, doing this. Um, I, I have no reason to accept that. The Malaysians lurched from one bungle to the next in its investigation of the plane's disappearance. And by the time it was found to have crashed in the southern Indian Ocean, Australia stepped up its involvement in the search. But our then government now concedes in a Sky News investigation, the search zone was off the mark. Does Australia face any blame? Well, uh, we were looking in the wrong place. So now there's a renewed push for the search to resume. If uh, it is a fact that the furthest reaches were not explored uh, because of assumptions uh, of a um, pilot who was no longer at the controls, um, I would say, uh, let's ditch that assumption. Uh, let's assume that it was murder-suicide by the pilot. And if there is any part of that ocean that could have been reached on that basis that has not yet been explored, let's get out and explore it. Peter Stefanovic, Sky News.